Why did I hire Joyce? Well, I tell you, at the time, we had a crafts teacher. And uh, I thought, gee, do we need another crafts teacher? But then I talked with uh, some other people, and the superintendent, and, said, and well, it's a local girl. She lives in Canton. And I says, well, yeah. And then I found out that she was a dual double major <laughs> and <laughs> got all kinds of awards <laughs> and uh, scholarships. And, and, you know, at that time, you, you were kind of quiet. And, you know, you didn't really, <laughs> you, you, you were. Uh, and uh, so you didn't really stand, stand out there, you know, except uh, your work was good. <laughs> I've improved in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you're not too shy. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. No. Yeah. She has established and has maintained the inclusivity of all students being involved in art, no matter what your talent or range she can pull it out of students. She places a lot of uh, emphasis on the student ownership and allowing them to sort of let their mind creatively go. And she really just steps back and says, see what you can do. I'm not artistic at all. So I would like show her literally my trash artwork and she would be like, I love it. She's expanded the art program tremendously because she's so inclusive. And I love her thinking that art is for all. So art is not an elitist or a privileged or a special or a genetic inheritance. Art is for everybody that wants to embrace it and put some effort in and you develop a cultivation of the interior life of the mind. And I think she's just done a wonderful job with that. All children are artists. It's not necessarily about skill and technique. It's about that creative expression and the creativity of your ideas and the freshness and the newness that is so pure when you're a young child and you're creating. She's kind of inspired kids to like love their artwork. She helped me kind of, um, I don't know, know that it's okay not to be the best, but still just try your hardest. Okay, well, we drew these portraits of ourselves in what, kindergarten, I think? So, us now finding our portraits. Now we're meeting kindergarten when we're graduating tomorrow, 12th grade. This is my own. Um, I hope my hair doesn't look too much like that now, huh? We're very lucky that we have Miss Stenman here to have this set up for us. It's really just incredible. Well, uh, I'm a mom, so I totally love her in my, uh, in my picture here. And uh, I'm kind of an artist. I don't like to brag, but I'm like a classic. <laughs> this is a great idea. I can't believe she... She like set this up for us. Truly a great idea. It's a truly full circle experience when we walk in here. Like a 360 picture. And kindergarten, like we're thinking. Degrees. In kindergarten, we're thinking, oh, we're not, school's never school's never gonna end. Self portrait, you know. We walk in here. That's amazing. I'm hitting the fields right now, you know. I'm getting sentimental. It's graduation week. Full circle move. She also jokes that I'm. She's uh, old enough to be my mother, and I could be her son. So, like, when she wants to get me going, she'll call me son every now and then. And uh, she jokes that I, she drives me crazy, which she does, but in such a great way. She just does so much, and she's such a great lady, and everyone loves her. And I just feel like, personally, she doesn't get enough credit that she deserves. She's a wonderful person. She's just got a great vibe. And that shows wherever she is. And through all the years, I believe that never once, when there was a need, if she could help, she would do it. Not too many people have that kind of compassion or interest in other teachers or to trying to do something worthwhile to help other teachers. She did it, and I give her an A-plus for that. That's tough to get an A-plus from Mr. Bedoin, I'll tell you that. I am thrilled to hear you are going to retire. Best of luck in retirement, and I hope to see you in the theater and in art shows and all those sorts of great places in the years ahead. Congratulations. So Joyce and the farewell tour. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. We've, uh, she's really enjoyed it, which makes it special. Um, it's nice to see someone retiring at the top of their game. Uh, it's nice to see someone 
you know, talking about and looking back over her years with a, a big smile on her face and knowing that she had a, a ton of great relationships and great impact on a whole community and, you know, kind of set the foundation for, you know, what the future of art looks like in this community. Uh, the farewell tour, yes, it's been, it's been, um, it's been lovely. Uh, I will thank all the people that have contributed to the farewell tour. It's quite flattering, quite humbling, but it's really about the team. It's really about keeping that culture, a strong team culture where people enjoy working together, sharing and communicating ideas. Mrs. Stenman has been such a visionary leading this department. I was a brand new teacher when I took a teaching job here and she always found a way to ask the questions to make sure that I was getting the end results that needed to happen so that whenever something new or different needed to happen, it was because it was your idea, not because she was telling you to do something. Mrs. Stenman has always been comfortable taking risks with how we teach, as long as the best interests of the students were in mind. And so anytime we had some crazy idea, she would say, go for it, try it, and let's figure it out. Or it was always, give it a try, and we'll figure it out. I think I'm going to miss most the fact that Joyce has always taken the time to get to know who each student was and who each professional was that she was working with. So she used that um, as a way to make sure she was able to nurture students and staff, capitalizing on their strengths to overcome their weaknesses. We should all be so lucky to have a legacy that she's going to have uh, and it's it's one that's you know, really, I think, ever, everlasting. And, you know, Joyce is, uh, I may regret saying this, but Joyce, you can always come back here and you always have a home here and, you know, we love you for it. I don't really know what I want to do when I grow up. <laughs> so we'll figure that out as uh, time goes on and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get out of the box and empty the boxes and find some things to inspire art making and I don't really know. How will I ever fit in these shoes? it was to be able to work with such a nice person. <laughs>